Hi, this is part 22 of Travel Biz Project. In the last class we discussed about the admin module. So admin will log in and admin will add the bus details, admin will add the pickup points, admin will add the destination points, and admin will add the fare destination. And admin can edit, update, and delete the bus details, pickup point details as well as the destination details. In this session we will discuss about the user module. So user can search the bus details, user can select the uh, ticket and user can book the ticket and user can print the ticket. So here you can check it out. Um, whenever you go to the home page, initially always the project development will start from admin module but at the time of accessing the project first we will uh, access the user module. So this is home.aspx, within this home.aspx I have done the design here. From place, I have taken on drop down list one, to place, drop down list two, date of journey, uh, one text box, and a number of seats. So, initially, I want to display the uh, destination names in drop down list one as well as in drop down list two. For that, I create one stored procedure, create procedure, procedure name, proc underscore bind d names as begin and select did d name from destination. Then just execute the procedure and check the output here. It will display all the destination names. Is it clear? Now here, initially I will try to uh, go to the data access layer and within the data access layer I have declared one method. The name of the method is bind dname. Here I create the connection, open the connection, pass the procedure and um, uh, pass the CMD object within the data adapter. Mention that we are working with stored procedure. Store the result of the query in the data set. Is it clear? And similarly, business logic layer, because business logic layer will interact with the data access layer. So within the business logic layer, I dictate one method. The name of the method is bind dname. So here I create an object for uh, data access layer and call the method. Now I will go to the home.aspx.cs, that is a presentation layer. And within this presentation layer, I declare the uh, method, that is display d place, destination place. Now create an object for business logic layer. And here call the method objbll.bindDNA. The written type of this method is data set. So the result of that method I am storing in the data set. And drop down list control will have a property called data source. So here we are intimating to the drop down list. Your data source is data set. And here drop down list control will have two properties. One is data text field, other one is data value field. Data text field means it is used to set the column name that we want to display within the drop down list control. And the data value field is nothing but it is used to store the value. It means that, for example, if you select Hyderabad in the drop down list one, the DID of Hyderabad is DID underscore 12. That the ID of that uh, destination name will be stored in data value field. And we are calling the data bind method. Similarly, I am displaying uh, uh, all the destination names in both the drop down list control. And I will call this method within the phase load. For better understand, I will try to execute and check the output. So here you see when I click on home, then automatically page load event will fire of home.aspx.cs and here uh, uh, we are calling the display d place and now presentation layer is interacting with business logic layer. Now within the business logic layer, it is interacting with data access layer, create the connection, open the connection, pass the procedure and mention that we are working with stored procedure create an object for a data set and fill the data in data set. Once go and check in data set here, here you can find all the DID along with D names will be displayed within the data set. Right? And the result of this data set I am sending to um, business logic layer and business logic layer will send the response to the presentation layer. So here you see this is your data set. Now, as I told that uh, I want to display the destination names in the drop down list control and I want to store the value in the data value field property. So here you check the output then automatically all the destination names will be displayed in both drop down list 1 as well as drop down list 2. So now whenever I will select the Hyderabad in drop down list 1 and Vijayawada. Now the customer wants to book the ticket from Hyderabad to Vijayawada and so and so date. The number of seats is 1. When you click on search bus it has to display the uh, something like this I will explain you it has to display the service number from place to place capacity bus type 
travel agency name, fare, departure time and arrival time. So here let us consider that three tables are there. One is bus table, destination table and fare destination table. For example, if the customer is booking the ticket from Hyderabad to Vijayawada, so I want to select the buses which are traveling from Hyderabad to Vijayawada. So first go to destination table. Here you catch the DID of Hyderabad. DID of Hyderabad is DID underscore 12. Vijayawada is DID underscore 1. So now go to the fair destination table. DID underscore 12, DID underscore 1. Which bus is there? SV underscore 2. Actually this bus is starting at what time? 7 p.m. Departure time and arrival time is at uh, um, 4 a.m. to Vijayawada. Is it clear? And the fare is 600 rupees. Now, how to get? I want to display the details of the bus. That is SV underscore 2. So here you go to the bus table. SV underscore 2. Actually, this bus is traveling from Hyderabad to Vizag. But the customer has booked the ticket from Hyderabad to Vijayawada. Capacity is 30 seats. Uh, departure time 7 p.m at Hyderabad and at Vizag it will reach at 6.30 am something like that and this uh, travel agency name is Kesnani Travels it is non -S. now actually I need to write the query to display the service number from place to place capacity departure time arrival time um, as well as fare also is it clear so in order to retrieve the data from more than one table we can go for the concept of what joins joins are generally used to retrieve the data from more than one table so in order to work with join first of all we need to give some alias names i am giving for both the tables so here for the bus table i will give the alias name as b for destination table i will give the alias name as d for fair destination table i will give the alias name as f so whatever the records you want you can first display the data so first of all i want to display the service number is it clear from uh, fair destination as well as I want to display the from place as well as to place names I want to display so the from place is what Hyderabad and to place is Vijayawada is it clear so I have to display the from place and to place from where destination table and apart from that I want to display the um, capacity from bus table service number from fair destination table Similarly, I want to display the bus type, whether it is AC or non-AC, from bus table. Similarly, I want to display the travel agency name from bus table. Similarly, I want to display the fare from fare destination table. Is it clear? And I want to display the departure time from fare destination table, as well as arrival time from fare destination table only. So, here you see, these details I want to display. So, how to, generally, how to write, select f dot sv number comma d dot d name comma as from place comma d dot d name as t place to place comma b dot capacity comma b dot t name comma b dot bus type comma f dot uh, departure time comma f dot uh, arrival time comma f dot fare something like that whatever you want you have to retrieve from all the three tables then we have to apply joints so here you see Select f dot sv number comma d dot d name as from place comma d dot uh, uh, see here one more interesting point you need to understand I have given two alias names for the destination table one is d other one is d1 because in fair destination table um, the fdid from departure destination id is what did underscore 12 and here did underscore 1 here it means that I am applying this fair destination table I am joining with the destination table two times so actually we are considering how many tables are there now we, we are thinking the three tables but I am considering as four tables one is B table other one is D table another one is D1 table other one is F table I hope you understood because I am applying fair destination table two times for the destination table so select f dot sv number comma d dot d name as from place d dot d name as from place comma d1 dot d name d1 dot d name means vijayawada as t place comma b dot capacity comma b dot bus type comma b dot t name comma f dot fare comma f dot departure time f departure time 
as departure time comma f dot t departure time as arrival time actually this bus is starting at hyderabad to vijayawada at, uh, vijayawada at hyderabad it started 7 pm vijayawada it will reach at 4 am from destination d nr join fair destination f on what is the common column in both the tables d dot did is equals to f dot fdid nr join destination d1 again on d1 dot did is equals to f dot tdid again nr join bus b on f dot sv number is equals to b dot sv number where f dot did is equals to at the rate fdid and f dot tdid is equals to at the rate tdid is it clear so here it means what uh, uh at the rate fdid is the id of hyderabad and uh, at the rate tdid is the id of um vijayawada for example here you have try to execute the procedure here i create one procedure create procedure procedure name as begin end so at the time of executing the procedure i will pass the from place as well as to place so how to pass the procedure excc space the id of excc space procedure name prvs underscore select bus the id of hyderabad did underscore 12 comma id of vijayawada did underscore 1 press f5 here you see it will display the bus details sv underscore 2 the from place hyderabad to vijayawada capacity 30 non ac case any travels 600 rupees for example if i want to catch hyderabad to did underscore 2 hyderabad to rajamandri see the fare because the fare is uh, varying based on what uh, um, two places is it clear similarly did underscore 3 there is no bus did underscore 4 hyderabad to annavaram the fare is 900 rupees did underscore 5 hyderabad to vizag the fare is um 1200 rupees at hyderabad the bus will start at 7 pm and annavaram uh, vizag it will reach at 9 am i hope you understood here the main concept here is we are trying to considering the destination table as two tables so it means that here i am considering the destination table i have given two alias names one is d other one is what d1 so first we are applying joins with what fair destination with d and fair destination with d1 and fair destination with bus table now here you say customer will select the bus details bus from hyderabad to vijayawada when you click on search bus then automatically button one underscore click will fire and here i am trying to store the drop down list one dot selected value that is the id of what hyderabad so what is that is the main reason why i have used the data text field and data value field and similarly i am storing the id of vijayawada drop down list dot selected value is it clear and i will store that fdid in one session variable tdid in one more session variable and the date of journey in one session variable number of seats and then i will redirect to select bus dot aspx and within select bus dot aspx here i have written one method called fill data method now presentation layer will interact with business logic layer and uh, i am storing this session values in the fdid as well as tdid so i declared two properties in business objects and uh, business logic layer is interact with data access layer so there we declared one method called select bus and uh, now this select bus uh, here i declared one stored procedure called prvos underscore select bus now create the connection open the connection pass the procedure and uh, here i am uh, uh, passing the values that is uh, already we set the values in business objects fdid as well as tdid so we are setting that values to the parameters and then uh, return data set is it clear and display the data within the grid view control i hope you understood here you see this is our stored procedure this is the major screen in this video right so for more videos you can subscribe to my youtube channel in the next video i will dis uh, i will discuss about how to book the how to select the seat thank you have a nice